Welcome to Film Riot Mondays. Today we have the winners to the Suspense Challenge. We had a ton of great submissions, as usual, but we could only pick three. So let's jump right into it with our third place winner. There's a lot of things I really dug about this one. Overall, the idea is one of the only ones in all the submissions that made me want to know more about that world. It made me feel like there was more to that idea that could be mined and maybe for a longer form story. I love that concept there. There, of course, were a lot of things for me that I, I feel like could have been improved to help really sell this even more. Uh, color grading was one in the daytime running shots. I don't think any of it was taken far enough or balanced well enough. Some of them felt uh, unbalanced to the other shots, so that kind of took me out a little bit. I also think it just overall, the grade could have been pushed a little more stylistically to get us more inside of the vibe of what was happening. Then uh, some of the camera angle choices I feel like could have been altered just a bit to put us in that moment more. Some of the moments where she's looking at the totem felt outside of her eye line outside of the moment of what's happening instead of inside of it, uh, experiencing that with her, which you can go that outside idea, but I think in this moment, kind of hurt the moment, didn't help it. Then when she picks up the rock and then it jump cuts to her kneeling, that felt a little off-putting for me as well. I feel like we needed a moment of her walking toward it to really sell everything else. Love all the cutaways, the quick flashes of violence. I thought that was great. And the way you ended it, I thought was really great as well. So nicely done. And we'll be contacting you soon to get your prize. Now on to the second place winner. Dear mother, the phone is not working. So I'm taking a letter. The time I've spent here has really been good for me. I haven't heard any voices so far.
of the things I loved most about this one was just the look. You guys were going for a certain time period, and I think you nailed it pretty well. Uh, the costuming was really nice. All the set decking was really nice. The only thing that I would critique with that is the color grade. It felt a little too modern for me and didn't quite land what you were going for. I think with a little bit of tweaks, just slight tweaks on that grade, uh, that would have helped you land in that time period a lot more. But still, you did a great job with that. The only negative, uh, really, that I had overall was that in the end, this one left me in qu with questions like the last one, but not in a good way like the last one. I didn't really understand why he mentioned hearing voices, and I didn't really understand why he disappeared in the phone, although that was a really cool effect and a cool ending. It kind of left me when all was said and done with, wait, why did those things happen. Even though while watching it, I was locked in it. You did a great job of engaging me. I felt that suspense. I wanted to know what was going to happen. So all of that was really well done, uh, including that pacing. It was just if we could have get, gotten some kind of hint or clue that would have left us at least being able to come up with our own theories, I think it would have taken it that much further. But in the end, I don't feel like I was given anything even to come up with my own ideas of why these things happen. So that was my only real critique. But overall, really great work. We're going to be contacting you for your prize as well, but now on to our number one, our first place winner. Did you take the trash out, son? Hey, I asked you a question. Did you take the trash out? Idiot! Talk to me! What's wrong with you? Look at me! Are you gonna answer the question? Now, take a slow. I'm gonna try to get you out of here. This is one of my favorite submissions that we've gotten in a really long time. I think it was really creatively shot. Uh, I love the opening shot. Being in the city was a lot of production value added there, but just moving over, seeing the alley, seeing the light, hearing the sound, that told us a whole story right there. And just seeing the aftermath of him falling, the kid running in the background, we got that whole story without you ever having to have any dialogue. Very Hitchcockian in, in that way. Then we jump to this other world and we go through all that. And again, all of this was very coherent. I knew exactly what was going on. I was told the whole story and there was like zero dialogue for the most part. Nothing had to be explained to us. It was just shown to us and I knew what was going on and I loved that type of thing. Really well done there. Uh, all the sound design was really nice. But again, I think my favorite part about this is that you told us a story. I feel like there was a beginning, middle, and end here. Maybe even a message place. There was a lot of stuff to think about. Um, of course, you know, it, there, there was stuff that we've seen from other horror movies here, but you played with those tropes in a nice way. Uh, so overall, I really, really dug that you were able into just two minutes time tell a complete story and one that had me very, very engaged. There were some uh, critiques that I had there, like in the kitchen. Uh, I feel like the geography might have been uh, a little confusing. It was supposed to be disjointed there, and I liked that, but there were moments uh, where it was disjointed in a negative way, like when they were standing in front of him, the eye lines felt off. I wasn't quite sure where they were, what was going on. Um, so I think that needed to be shifted just a touch. I think it could have been fixed with just a wide angle and we would have been good there. And then the end with the closet, which I thought was great. Once the hands were coming out and opening the closet, I thought that was very creepy. Loved the sound design there. However, as it opened, it revealed it was just a closet inside with a shirt hanging, which took the creepy factor way down for me. I feel like if, it, if that opening was just masked out and just blackness was added there to what felt like this infinite void that he might be you know, dragged into, I think that would have uh, taken the creepy factor way up. Whereas as it was with just a closet inside, took me out 
just uh, just a little bit, but I loved how he was revived and we used that as a climax to again tell us this entire complete story. So very nicely done, really, really great work. You deserve that number one place and the Big Daddy prize of the $50 gift certificate to our store, the Meze earbuds, and the one year subscription to Mocha Pro 5. We're gonna be contacting you very soon to get all that into your hands. Now usually here we would give you the next Monday challenge, but we're gonna start doing things a little bit differently. We're gonna give you a one week breather and the next week we will announce the next one, which will be another one month challenge. And also we always get so many great submissions and thanks to a really great suggestion from an awesome film writer, we're gonna start doing honorable mentions of all the great ones that came in, runners up that didn't make the final three list, which we'll take a look at right now. filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is a place to go when that next idea hits you. I know that you've heard me say it, the list of available domain extensions is growing, but you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brands in ways that was never before possible. You can choose from a growing list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club. And to give you some love in, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, or email, just use the coupon code filmright at domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. <laughs> So that's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. This one is a blog post from the guys at Film Supply. It's about sound design, adding more emotion to your piece. So check that out right here. Until next week, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.